This video is going to be about what happens when you're working late at night and you touch the hot wire with the frame of the bike. When you touch the hot wire with the frame of the bike, it's going to short everything out. The whole bike will be dead. By the way, here's the rectifier reposition. This is a FH model. It's a MOSFET. So there is no heat, heat dissipation needed. I'm not using a heat sink, but I just wiped off the uh, plastic uh, heat guards and I put it underneath. It's held on by Velcro. It's not going anywhere. It's solid. Now, getting back to what I said. Um, when you touch the hot wire on the frame, you're going to find out that there's a 30 amp main fuse here. It's a protector circuit. This is the starter relay to the bike. You'll see the four connector leads and the two, the two leads for the, for the B and the M side. All right. Now, some of the VFR have only two connector leads. This is a four. Make sure you get the right one. On the, uh, on the right hand, left hand side in the picture, the M model that goes to the starter motor. On the right hand side where it says B, that goes to the system power. To hook it up, they, the, they say to hook the, the, the frame of the chassis last. I, I did the hot wire last because the hot wire to me is the, uh, the main one. I don't have the starter motor hooked up right now. The starter motor is hooked, not hooked up. Now the positive is on there and all the connectors are hooked in. If you need a diagram on the connector, here it is. If you can see it on the B side, which is the positive, the left side. So if you're looking at it, if you're looking at it like this, if you're looking at it like this, exactly like that, on the left hand side is the positive or the red. And the wire configuration are as follows. Red yellow on the top towards the positive B side. Below it is red. Next to it is red and white and above it is red and green. Alright, that's the wiring diagram. So, this is the old one like I said, I was working late at night. I blew it. By the way, this is only a $10 part. Brand new, it's $10. Don't have a cow. Without hooking up the starter motor, you can now check the circuits. What I did, just in case, was I checked it at the fuse box, continuity-wise. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your red and yellow lead, which is on the red and yellow plug that you pull from here, get your continuity tester, and go straight to the fuse box. Now if you have a flashlight fuse tester, it's, gonna, it's not going to show anything because it's all going to be dead. If you check the hot wire, it should be good, meaning that if you use the flashlight one, it's going to be good. It'll show, um, it should show it's dead because the relay is the main switch. So here we go. Without the starter motor connected, you should have your lights. The lights are on. Brights, lows and highs. Turn signals. Other turn signal. Working good. Oil neutral, all your lights. Now, if I start it up, it should be dead. Nothing. Alright, because there's no power hooked up. The relay is hooked up. You heard the relay click. We'll do it again. The relay should click. Listen for the click. That means the relay is good. Okay. Now I got to put the power onto it on the outside. That click tells you that it's sending power to the starter. But it's disconnected right now. So there's no power going to the starter. So everything's good. All right. Now you can do the same check by just 
if you want to check the starter relay, which is this one, you can do the same check by just disconnecting the negative to the starter. So on, the, on your starter relay right here, this is the one right there. You disconnect this and listen to the noise that I just showed you. Disconnect this, hit your ignition button, and if you don't hear nothing, it's a bad relay. Um, 30 amp fuse does not blow. Other than that, it's a simple, quick fix. No big deal, don't have a cow. And uh, I think it's good just to change it out. This one's really old. The plugs are all different. Somebody broke the connectors. You know, all kinds of trouble with it. You know, it's better just to, better to be safe than sorry. Also, MOSFET, uh, MOSFET, FHO, rectifier, regulator, right under the seat. Great spot. Shouldn't have any heat. I got a fan. I got a fan ready just in case. I got a big old fan. I got this off a computer. And uh, let me turn this, turn the electric off. I got a big old fan here just in case, and I might just mount it right here or somewhere underneath the seat give it the uh, give it the air it needs hook it up direct 12 you don't need a fuse connector inline fuse or anything direct 12 will be fine if you have a jump box like there right down there a little tiny jump box hook your fan directly to the jump box and you'll you'll see how much air it's pushing that one's pushing a lot of heat a lot of air so if the rectifier has any heat issues that thing will cool it down in probably less than 60 seconds. That should do it. And there is the bike. No grips. Old windshield. Carbon fiber to everything. Previous owner broke all this stuff. All carbon fiber. New, new bolts on there for the carbon fiber also. And that's it. Also, what's pretty cool, glow-in-the-dark powder. Glow-in-the-dark powder back here. Glow-in-the-dark powder right there. Other than that, there you go. No decals yet. Decals did not come from Britain. It's been over 35 days my decal didn't come trying to get a refund.